Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And it's time we're going to look at game number 11 in our 20 from 9 to 93 series. And this is a flight simulator, the first in a long line of flight simulators created by Namco. And this is called Air Combat. And uh, this was known as Ace Combat in Japan. And you have an altitude controller. And you have a uh, controller that uh, uh, turns your... Uh, turns your uh, plane left, right, up, down, and there are buttons for bullets and uh, missiles, and there was an earlier game called the Air Combat in the 70s, not related <laughs> at all, <laughs> but um, I might have seen this once or twice in the arcades, I don't remember for sure, but one thing I've got to mention to start things off, this is not complete in emulation at this point so sometime in the future I might have to go back and uh, uh, redo this if uh, if this starts working in MAME but this uh, this has 3d polygons and they don't always work in uh, in uh, this video that I've done it, it does look pretty impressive at points but in other parts uh, you can tell that the emulation is not finished yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep my ear to the ground and and see if I can hear about uh, the graphics being improved in emulation and uh, maybe I'll uh, update the video. But for now, this is uh, what we're gonna get. Unfortunately, it's it's not bad, but you can tell that it's not uh, complete in some parts. And here the game tells you in the attract mode about the two different controllers you've got. And yeah, one button on the joystick uh, is for your regular shot. And then one is your missiles. And you have limited shot and missiles. You have tons of shots. You, you really shouldn't run out. But um, there are three difficulties. There is cadet, there is captain, and then there is ace. And uh, for each difficulty, there are six enemies that you must shoot down. And uh, defeating each enemy will grant you uh, some seconds restored on your timer. And it'll also give you back some missiles. And the amount of missiles and time that you get back depends on the difficulty that you chose. There will be six enemies. And once you defeat them all, then uh, you will get some sort of ending. In the easy one, the cadet uh, difficulty, you cannot enter... Uh, you cannot get a ranking or get a score. You don't uh, enter initials in this game. But this costs four credits to start. Jeez. And you will get this kind of cool uh, cutscene here. Yeah, the 3D uh, graphics and polygons are, are pretty heavy in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you see your, uh, your plane... Uh, fly out of the uh, military landing strip here and uh, at the end you will land on a uh, on an aircraft carrier uh, I don't remember if that was in the cadet setting I don't think it was but we will start with 60 seconds and here is the uh, first enemy they are super slow and super easy to take down. But again, you do not get a ranking or a score in the easiest setting, Cadet. And here I can just take him out with my uh, fire. You have rapid fire if you hold down the uh, trigger. And sometimes you will get uh, little hints in the uh, Cadet setting. Very helpful. Yeah, in uh, cadet setting, you get your time restored by 25 seconds when you take down an enemy. You will have 3,800 uh, shots for your guns. 
and uh, you will get uh, four missiles restored with each enemy that you bring down. You will start with eight missiles. Yeah, you can, you can tell in parts that this is uh, not complete in emulation. You will notice that there is a little luck circle that will appear on the enemy when, uh, when it's locked and ready for you to fire a missile at it. Um, at times, the enemy will be able to shoot missiles at you, and at times the enemy will use chaff to intercept your missiles that you fire at them. You'll see an explosion, but that was the chaff taking out your missile. Sometimes the enemy will try to fly directly into you and crash into you. You don't have lives or, or uh, a certain number of planes. Um, instead, you just go un <clears throat> you just go until you run out of time. If your time is up, your game ends. If you get shot down, light it into, or if you slam into the ground, you just have another ship at the ready, but you know, your time is just going to keep ticking. That's what you got to worry about, is your time right now. And as I said, you get it restored a little bit each time you destroy an enemy. And it varies depending on the difficulty uh, setting that you chose. Yeah, when an enemy's really far away, it's going to be very hard to hit with missiles. You'll see uh, certain things disappear, like certain uh, radar things, or uh, there's more uh, time extended. Um, certain certain uh, things, certain indicators that might be hidden once you fly low, and that's uh, the emulation being perfect. <clears throat> yeah, I was looking for a, a Namco 21 game emulator. This is a, it runs on Namco System 21 hardware. And there is me beating all six enemies. And it shows on that screen that got cut off because of the uh, improper emulation there. But it shows the uh, different ways that I brought down each of the six enemies. And if you do not uh, put in more credits to play the uh, captain uh, level, and you can't replay cadet here, if you uh, did not put in the credits, you'll run out of time and your game will end. So you'd need to put in more credits to play the uh, captain difficulty setting. And we will look at that, not uh, in complete depth, but we will see me engage each of the six enemies and eventually bring them all down. And we'll see the ending for the uh, captain setting. This was absolutely revolutionary. And this is one of Namco's most uh, uh, prodigious, is that the word, um, franchises. In fact, I think this is the second longest running Namco franchise behind Pac-Man lot of games in this series, either with the uh, Air Combat or the Ace Combat uh, label on it. The next game in the series was called Air Combat 22, I believe, in 1995, which was the same year that the PlayStation uh, got a port of this game, Air Combat. And it's greatly improved for the PlayStation. It looks really nice. And so, yeah, we are going to see me take down the enemies in the uh, captain setting. We will also see me uh, like slam into the ground, collide with an enemy or something. But again, it's the timer that you really need to worry about. If that runs out, then your game will end. At, at this point, I put on infinite time and I think infinite missiles and infinite shots just because I wanted to get through the, uh, the uh, difficulty settings and see the ending and also because I'm not nearly good enough to do it without cheating 
<laughs> I didn't cheat with the cadet setting, but yeah, you'll you'll find that the enemies are much tougher in the uh, other settings, captain and ace. And uh, for captain, you will start with uh, 90 seconds. And it, I I said it for it. There is a very cool rare cutscene, and sometimes you will get cutscenes, and that is on autopilot. You cannot control that. But uh, once it's over, then you will go back to uh, trying to engage the enemy. Those cutscenes are kind of cool. And yeah, we'll see me take out the uh, enemies. Yeah, you will start with. Uh, 90 seconds in the captain setting, even though it says 60 here, because I use cheats. And you will have six missiles to start. Every set, every difficulty setting gives you 3,800 gun units. Um, the time restore you get for defeating an enemy in captain setting is 35 seconds, and you will restore four missiles. Each uh, difficulty setting will restore four missiles if you really destroy an enemy. And here is the ending for the Captain difficulty. Yeah, yeah the polygons aren't, aren't perfect in the emulation here. <laughs> yeah, there's some, some games that just don't seem to be fixed in emulation, and this is one of them. Yeah, I, li I like how they show uh, the different uh, ways that you defeated an enemy uh, after you know, you've beaten all six. Here's my ranking second lieutenant. You get both ranking and score if you beat the ace uh, setting. And we're going to uh, have a look at some of that. Each uh, each difficulty starts out the same way, so I skipped skipped that and went right to the action. That the enemy is way, way, way evasive in uh, the ace setting, and it definitely at times in the captain setting. Um, in the ace setting, your time is restored only by 15 seconds, and you get four missiles back when you uh, destroy an enemy. You will start with 60 seconds, and you get eight missiles. Yeah, here's me uh, getting hit by the enemy. You can actually fight out of a uh, crash when you get hit by the enemy. You can pull up and avoid crashing. <laughs> you crashed. You might see an instant replay of your crash, even though it's not very good in emulation. <laughs> um. But yeah, what you got to worry about is running out of time. That is what will uh, give you a game over. One of my favorite uh, flight simulators is actually Top Gun for the NES. I really, I really enjoyed that game. It was hard as hell, and it took you forever to figure out how to not crash into the. Uh, Air ca the carrier, but that is how you will end uh, the uh, ace setting. Is you will try to land on an aircraft carrier. You can crash into it. Uh, you can go out of bounds. You can go too far out of the way, uh, or you can land on the strip. If you land on the strip successfully. That's really not that hard to do, I don't think. Then, uh, you will be able to fight one more enemy. One last enemy. And you don't really have to beat them. But we will see, uh, we will see the ending of me beating them. Eventually we'll get there. Just, just try to evade their missiles when they fire at you. They 
get really hard to uh, catch up to and uh, destroy. You, you might need to have the uh, controls a little less touchy than what I had. You might need to go into uh, calibration to uh, set the controls up just right, but they're a little too touchy. And here I've beaten... I've beaten the uh, cadet set or the uh, ace setting. <laughs> you get you get airlifted if you if you uh, um, didn't land right. You also get airlifted if uh, you ran or no uh, um, if you run out of time, you will parachute out of your plane. Here's the rank of. Colonel. And there's my score. Yeah, you do not put in your initials in this game. But we will see the other, uh, the other endings. Will I land correctly? Yep. And like I said, after that, and you get a nice little replay here. After that, you will get to take you will take off and engage one one uh, last enemy. Successful landing. And uh, the graphics got cut off <laughs> for uh, um, showing how I defeated all six enemies because the emulation is not perfect. <laughs> I did come across like a really old emulator called Sledgehammer or something, but it, its last update was like 2002. I, did, I didn't really try it, I was kind of <laughs> apprehensive. So, sorry this doesn't look perfect. Um, like I said, I'll, uh, I'll keep my ear to the ground and if I hear about uh, this being updated in main, uh, better emulated, I will give this video another go. Try, try to be up here. And there the enemy uh, sl might have slammed into me. <laughs> and uh, they showed a replay. Yeah, whatever, if whatever way you did not successfully uh, uh, land on the carrier. Uh, you will be airlifted and uh, your game will end. And here was me running out of time and I parachuted down and my game will end. <laughs> and then, then I got uh, airlifted. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the, the next game in the series was called Air Combat 22. And uh, we might have a look at that. I think 1995 series comes around and there's the rank of general. Even though I work for a veterans hospital, oh, there's first place. Even though I work for a veterans hospital, I was never a, a veteran myself. And here is me missing the aircraft carrier out of bounds. And then you get airlifted again. <laughs> and here is me slamming right into the carrier. <laughs> Landing unsuccessful. <laughs> and I think this is me beating the final enemy. With cheats, of course. Yep. Ta -da. And now we get the... Uh, uh, that didn't look all that great. Now we get the ending of the ace difficulty setting. Well, that is ace combat. And it is known... Or, uh, that is air combat. It is known as ace combat in Japan. And this is the first in a long series of 3D polygon flight simulators. a PlayStation port in 1995 of this, 
and this ran on the Namco System 21 hardware. Well, I thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying my uh, 20 from 9 to 93 series. After this game, I will have a request that I want to uh, uh, fulfill. And then after that, I will do the second half of my 20 from 1993 series, and I will have a second time capsule of 1993 to do. A lot of a uh, lot of things to cover uh, that I haven't done uh, the first first time around. But I, I like to just kind of limit the uh, time capsules to two per per year. But that was air combat. Uh, by Namco in 1993. There I got Commander Chief. This is Crazy Clown Race, and thanks for watching Air Combat, game number 11 in my 20 from 1993 series. I hope to catch you soon with game number 10. Bye bye, folks. I get around, still clown with the underground when we come around.